here is the front fender for the Detroit Red Wings bike. This is a bare metal fender. Basically, it's a 14-gauge uh, uh, fender, good, good thick stack. Um, this is an official NHL Red Wings hockey puck. Now, what we're going to do is create the illusion that this hockey puck is coming out of the back end of this fender. Like in the drawing, we're going to basically sink it down in there a little ways. We're going to put ripaways on the back part of this fender so the hockey, hockey puck looks like it was shooting straight out of the back of the fender, like as in a showman shot it right through the back of the fender. We're going to cover it with a net. We're going to use basically a research done the netting type material used. We're going to use this type netting effect. We're going to put that basically covering the hockey puck and make it look like it's stretching. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually try and use the same scale as what we have here. And what we're going to do is just going to draw two circles on there. We're not going to use the whole circle. We're going to basically almost use half of it. I'm going to cut two, two out here. And uh, once we cut these two out, we'll grind three quarters of it as showing and a quarter of it off. We'll take this over to the bandsaw and we'll start cutting this out. Now that we've cut two pieces out, what I've done is I've bolted them together so that the uniformity will be even when I grind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grind just the rough edges off this and get these nice and rounded off. And then once we get that done, we'll make the piece for the center and we'll actually have a metal hockey puck. And that's what we'll weld to the front fender. a piece of sheet metal and I clamped it onto a piece of pipe using the pipe as an armature. What we want to do is get the, the curvature of this before I weld it to the actual side pieces. So we're forming basically the, the roundness of it. I'm just going to do this by hand. I'm going to do it basically cold. Voila. Got an arch basically. Same as our puck. Same curvature. Now we're going to weld that basically to our piece, two pieces of sheet metal. Once we get that welded, we'll grind it, get it all smoothed out, make it look like the hockey puck. And all right, what I've done now is I've stuck the two halves basically inside of here, formed kind of the hockey puck look. Now what I'm going to do is weld all the way around the outside edge. Once you get it all welded up, I'll take a grinder, smooth it out. Okay, I welded the piece all up. Hockey puck is formed. It's all welded up, ready to attach to the fender. You attach halfway, making it look like it's ripping out. I'm going to do the rips next after I grind this. I'll get this all smoothed out. And after that process is done, I'll start doing the rips for the fender, which will make it look like it's actually ripping out of the fender. And I'll weld those basically up to this, curl them and get them into the forms and shapes and that way there I'll be able to attach this whole unit right to the fender and then do the webbing afterwards. And there it is. One steel hockey puck. Now if you use these in the rink, you guys would have less teeth and maybe more concussions, but we'll let them use the rubber ones. We'll use this one for the fender. What I'm doing is I'm grinding basically all these small pieces that I've cut out. What they'll do is I'll weld them onto this flat plate that I've made, which will basically be the base for this thing to sit on. And I'll weld all these small pieces up and I'll take a torch and heat them up and bend them to make them look like the rips are actually curled out, like it actually ripped out. Once that's all welded unit, that unit right there will get welded to the rear fender. And once the rear fender has this on it, then we'll just do the netting. The netting will just be a matter of basically forming it using the torch and the welder to form the net uh, effect on it. And when it's all painted up, it'll look like the real nylon net over the puck. 
puck will be painted black and we'll have the ripaways basically looking like they actually are part of the formed a part of the fender. Now we've uh, welded up basically the rip section. What it'll do is the hockey puck will fit down inside of here. And the ripaways, which will be curled by hand with a torch, will give the effect like the hockey puck is ripping out of the fender. What I'm going to do now that I've got the rip away done and the puck done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and weld a tack weld in the corners of each side enough to secure it. Then I'll take brass and lay brass and braze around it. The reason I'm using brass as opposed to welding all the way around, with a bead basically laid all the way around and weld, It'll take a lot of excess grinding basically to go down through there to get it smooth. I want it to flow, so the way to flow it will be using brass because the brass will meld in similar to solder. The brass is a lot stronger and what it'll do is it'll flow in these crevices, seal that all up real nice and tight, be a solid unit. Then I'll still be able to weld it basically to the fender. I'm going to lay a bead of brass around the outside of it. That way there, by leaving the outside melding in, it'll actually look like everything's kind of formed up and came right out of the fender. Give it that natural rip away. What I've done is I've finished brazing the piece onto the fender. We've got a nice look to the fender as you can see that basically looks like the piece is ripping out. What I've done is I've welded basically three nuts onto the back side with a small Allen head screws in three locations on this fender to hold this netting on. What this will allow the person to do that basically cleans this bike will be able to remove the netting by taking the three small screws off, clean underneath the fender when it's all painted up. It will also allow me to paint underneath and do all of it. And this way here it will look like the net's part of the unit and yet it's a bolt-on unit and it looks like it's part of it. We'll mold it around this area to give it a more smoother transition so it'll look like it's actually molded right into the fender. Now this will be the removable part. What we'll be able to do now is get this to the sandblaster. It'll come back, get molded, and then uh, the netting will get sandblasted also and then what we'll do is when we come back here it'll get a slight molding around the the areas that it needs to uh, primed then painted up with the custom paint job and then the netting will get painted white and it'll transition into the pa uh, paint job slowly and then when we need to put this on it'll basically just slide over the top the bolts will go in the three corners spots and once that's in the Locked in, locked in place, it'll just be a matter of that it'll look like it's all one piece. Pretty neat.